Hi everyone, you're with Lucy from Art Shed Angel and I love my gel plate. So today I'm creating this little bird with the gel plate and some acrylic paints. So let's get started. So to do this project today, we're going to be using a jelly plate and we're going to be using some acrylic paper but any watercolor paper or thick card will work now if you like my videos please make sure you subscribe and ring that bell and you'll see lots more things and i will be having everything that in this in this project in the description so make sure that you look over there next so I am using today Derivan paints to do this. So Derivan are an Australian paint company and they make a beautiful range of acrylic professional paints and that's what I'm going to use here today. Um, you can use any other acrylic paints but these are the ones that I'm going to be using and you'll see when I use them on the jelly plate how lovely they do flow. So one of the things I'm going to do first is I'm going to paint my background just with a colour or a couple of colors so I'm going to paint my background with magenta and ultramarine blue and I'm doing this first because what I want to do is end up with a background that is already darker to start off with and I'm just painting it with the acrylic paint you don't need to gesso this I'm adding a little tiny bit of water to it just to spread it a little bit more but this is only because it's the background and it really does not need to be very thick. Basically, I'm doing this so that what we do with the jelly plate actually shows through with something behind it. So choose some colors that go nice together. But this is a little bit of a fun project. So I've just done that and I'm going to dry it off now. Okay, because my back background is now quite dark, every colour that I'm going to use over the top here, I am going to give it a base of white. So I'm here, I'm going to put a bit of white down. I love the magenta, so I'm going to put a little bit more magenta. And with my roller, I'm just going to do that. Now, I'm not trying to get rid of the texture, so don't roll it to the point where you lose your texture. But now do some little interesting patterns in what you do. So every time we do this, we're going to add a different pattern just to make the background interesting. So this is going to lighten the background, obviously, because there's so much white in it. And... The wonderful thing about gel press prints is that you can use them all the once. So you can see I've got these patterns happening here. So I'm going to do just a, one more layer with this pink because I've got so much left on my roller. And this time instead of those, those wiggly lines, I'm going to do some circles. So what we're achieving here by doing this is a background that's interesting because we've got so many different textures happening in, in them. So with my paint that's left over here, I have some extra paper from another project and I'm just going to clean my roller on there because I don't want to waste any of my paint. Now this time I'm going to use white and yellow because I feel like I want to use a color that's going to really show up so I'm using cad yellow tiny bit of yellow again and having the white in the yellow will make it more solid so it is worth putting the white in and this time I'm going to do some interesting shapes so it's just about creating shapes in it. Now when I do this on my gel plate I am making sure that I'm not pressing too hard because you do not want to damage your plate. Okay so we've got that and I'm thinking 
a really nice big one in the corner there. That looks fabulous. And I like things to go off the page. So you can see there. And I've got, you can see that there's paint, more paint left there. And I'm going to do it there. And I'm going to continue this till I have the depth of colour that I want. So I, I, I want to have quite a nice depth of colour so any patterns and you all the patterns start to show up over the top of each other so I'll put one here and another one there so just keep using your paint up and you'll see that you know bits of paint will come back up again don't worry about that a bit more yellow here and this time I'm going to add a tiny bit of blue to the yellow and hardly any but this is just going to give it a bit of a green tinge and we'll do big circles this time if you have bits that you really like Try not to cover them up too much. And one more bit of white. I'm going to do one more layer because I'm wanting to get a little bit rid of those very dark areas there. So I'm going to do one more layer with my white. And I'm going to add a little bit of purple this time. I love this purple. So these are the Derivan paints. I love that they're Australian made. So this is going to be quite dark, but not too dark. And this one I'm going to do a fair amount of pattern in because I don't want it to be too overwhelming. So you can see there I've got like a lot of pattern in that one. I really do love this round plate. I think it leads you to do lots of very interesting things. So there we have it. We've got a background, which is really, really pretty, which would love, <laughs> it looks like it's almost full fabric, doesn't it? I'm gonna use a little bit more of this purple just here over there. So you'll see bits where you think, oh, it just needs that little extra bit. And because I like patterns to go over, I think that purple would look really good here. So I'm going to do that same pattern. And I only want a little half bit. There we have it. So we've got this terrific bat background. And now we're going to put something kind of cute over the top of it. So the next process, we will do... Again, now all of this background paper I will use in collage so don't throw your background paper away and my plate is clean it's about as clean as I make my plate okay all right so I'm just going to put this away so you can see better this is where I like having my glass plate and look how impressive that looks now so now what I'm going to do is use my white paint and just a little tiny bit of it and I'm using the back of my brush and I'm going to do some dots around just some of the circles so just using the back of your brush And it just, some of the ones that I really love, I'm going to highlight. So I'm loving this purple one here. And these are just to make the page more interesting.
So I'm also going to take one bit more piece of cardboard and I'm going to use, I'm just going to put this back here again and I'm going to this time use green so that I don't waste my paper. I'm going to clean my roller off again on here and all of this becomes collage elements for another time. So I really think with the colours I've got here, I want to put an image on the front of this something a bit interesting and I think I might do a little bird so what I want to do though is make it a color that's going to show up so because we have not used green and that's kind of for the contrasting color to purple I'm going to do this little bird in green so I'll just get my piece of paper and this time of course I have to put a lot of white in it again because I do want it to show up and I'm going to use this beautiful fallow green and I'm going to do something quite interesting with this one. Lots of white and maybe even a touch of yellow, just a tiny touch of yellow and this time I'm going to kind of create an aqua kind of colour. Now, I want to make this really in in interesting and textured. It's quite thick at the moment. So I'm going to take some pink, just a tiny dab, and some, ooh, what colour? Some purple. Oh no, we want, a, no, I think we're going to use red. Let's have some colours that go really nice together. So pink and red. Oh, and oops yellow and we're going to do something a bit fun here so I'm actually going to take these yellow dots and as I go from one side to the other I'm going to do my dots close together over here and then kind of blend them out so that there's less dots to this side and I'm going to do that in the red as well so look, nice close dots so really that because this is printmaking you can really play with ideas and it's a lot of fun Okay, so I have that now. Pretty happy with that. And I want to put that on this side, making sure that the busy side's here. Look how cute that is. And I'm going to put some there as well. Because I'm going to make this into a little bird. So it'll just give it a dry off. So get your get your um, paint dry, and then I'm going to use a Stabilo All pencil. So if you've never used a Stabilo All, these are like a um, a wax pencil that is water soluble, works on glass and plastic and metal, so it works beautifully over acrylic paint. But what I'm going to do is draw a cute little bird. over the top of my image and I'm going to do nice thick lines and this little bird's going to be looking up there's a little eye there so just you know you don't need to be able to draw really well here you just need to be able to do very simple drawings. Then what works beautifully with this is you use your water and you can blend this to a nice black. So there we have it. So we've got a little pre-painted bird 
and I'm going to cut him out with the scissors. Now you could have done this bird any colour you like. I just want him to show up on the purple, so I've done him in the green. And all depending on the colours that you use in the background. So, take this back up here and look how well he stands up. Okay, put everything out of the way. Let's have a look at that. So we have a little bird and he appears to be looking at something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some writing there, but I'm going to first stick him down. He's just a little bit wet, so we'll dry him off. And funnily enough, by leaning him like that, I think I think I might put him down like that and have him looking at some writing. So I'm now going to stick him down. So this is all done with a little jelly plate. So people who think they can't, they have to buy a big jelly plate, you know, make sure that you, if you can't afford it, buy a small one and use that. Now, he needs a little highlight in his eye so that he looks cute and real. Put a little highlight in his eye. He needs some legs. So I'm going to put some little legs on him. And I'm going to do a little bit of a branch through here. And this is all with the Stabilo All Pencil. And just wet that down. And now with the Signo Broad Pencil, Pen, this is a Signo Broad. I'll have all these things in the description. I'm just going to use the dots. To highlight this. Just to make this little log a more interesting and continue with the theme. Now with your Signo um, broad pens, pens, the trick is drawing fairly slowly with them. I'm going to do a little highlight on his legs. And you can do some interesting things on him. You could do some little circles on some of these colours. You can do it on the yellow just to highlight the yellow bits. And around his eye. And I think he needs to have some words. So how simple is that? That was all pretty much done with our gel plate. And I'm going to write some words now. Now, when I do words, I'm going to do them with the Sig Signo Broad pen. And I'm going to draw, write what I want to write, just with the pen. You won't be able to see much of it yet. And... So just do your handwriting. This is important here. Do your handwriting. And once you've done your handwriting, then go with your pen and fill it in. So make it thicker. I love to see people's handwriting. So I'm going to do this. You know, if you go, the slower you go, the better you're going to get an image. So... Go around and I think this looks like a very playful bird. So I'm just going around my words and these are my letters. Then I'm doing little balls on the top, on the edge or where each line finishes. I'm doing a little ball in the centre of the letter. So this is nice because it's your handwriting. And I'm just going to thicken this one. So 
so we thicken that and then I'm going to use my black Posca pen and I'm just going to trace around oh, all my writing my black And you can see how it now really starts to stand out. Make sure you trace around those little bally bits. And it just makes it a bit of fun. Now you can continue some of these white dots around. I like to have words like dots that connect writing together. Especially down here in the darker areas. And I'm just going to do a little bit of a white border with my Signo pen. So I break the border so I don't have full lines. Not sure why, I just like that kind of finish. So there we have it. It's our finished page. And I think I love him. I think I'm going to hang him up on the wall. So if you enjoy my projects, please have a look at my archedangel.com page for online classes, online Zoom classes. Don't forget that 20% discount on Derivan paints. And remember that creativity takes courage and you're very courageous for being here thank you so much you're with lucy